Until relatively recently, braised broil based in bake were terms best understood by expert cooks and chefs, but they've become pretty much part of everyday conversation. Instead of being a chore, cooking has become entertainment, and Durbanites recently flocked to a major culinary event. Michelle arrived at the Durban Exhibition Centre with a healthy appetite. However big it may be or whatever form it takes, a mela has three ingredients, people, entertainment and food. We are at Durban's biggest food and beverage event and it has the makings of a fabulous mela. Let's go sample the menu. Market culture is a vibrant part of Durban life and this inspired the event's very own Shongweni Market and Speciality Street, where visitors could buy fresh ingredients. This all added to the experience, as marketing manager Christina Visser explained. It is a success because it brings through the best chefs internationally and locally to the local audience. The visitors and sponsors and the hospitality industry get to interact with food and wine from the local market and from the national market and internationally. So it brings flavors and trends and colors and taste that just wows the audiences. I have been speaking to people who have been attending and they've been super happy. They've loved some new stands and new exhibitors with innovative ideas. They've loved the wine, they love the beer, they love the taste of the sweet things and most of all they love the chefs. They love meeting them, they love meeting the personalities from the local television shows as well. And we had Jay Something here who was from Mikasa and they just enjoyed it so much. My favourite part of cooking is plating, uh, funny enough. And uh, why? Because it's grand and it makes things look Jay something knows his way around the keyboard and the chopping board. Jay, welcome to Mela. Good seeing you again. Thank you, man. Yeah, likewise. What's going on? Singer and chef. Was that always part of the plan? I still, I still get freaked out when people call me a chef, man. Singer I am, but a chef, I'm a very big wannabe chef. So I definitely singing, man. Singing is my first love. Yeah. You know, when I'm here, when I'm cooking, people want to see me cooking and they want to hear me sing. I think the music fest, they just want to hear me sing. Man. <laughs> but funny enough, uh, you know, uh, you know, more and more, it's becoming more of a common question when I go to a show, Mikasa show, it's, hey Jay, will you cook for me? And I'm like, dude, come on. <laughs> Food tasting took place between the culinary masterclasses presented by various international celebrities. Michelle met up with Rick Stein, one of the best traveled chefs in the business. Rick Stein, welcome to Mela and Durban. It's very nice to be here, I must say. It's for my first time and really enjoying it. And enjoying the weather above all, I think. Why do you believe cooking shows have become so popular? I think it's really that everybody's just got so much more interested over the last 20, 30 years in food. I just think it's a very healthy thing for all of us because um, I think interest in food, you, you know, we all have to eat, so we might as well enjoy it. Plus, I think the more people that cook, it, the better it is for diet, really. I mean, I don't mean losing weight. I mean, just having a balanced diet. Because I often think if you're a regular cook, you naturally cook in a balanced way anyway. Come away from the sides. It's quite sticky. Chef Yudhika presented traditional Eastern favorites with a characteristic contemporary flair. I'm keeping it really traditional in the kitchen. I'm making barfi, jalebi, and also soji ladoos, but just bringing back old-fashioned baking and in a very simple way as well. You recently launched a new book. How did that come about? It wasn't an epiphany. It was just a series of events that led to me putting out this book. It's traditional cookery, but also my food journey and all the people that have influenced the way I cook and the way I feast as well. Chef Yudhika was kept equally busy signing copies and slicing samples for her avid fans. I've tried to keep the help in small, but I think you'll agree that this has been an absolute feast. There are many facets to lifestyle to explore, but I think food is my favorite one. On that note, I see some cakes. 